now we're going to start work on getting our dope. That's data on previous engagements. How we're going to start with that is getting good velocity numbers off of the rifle. There's two chronographs that are really popular in the PRS circuit. We've got our magneto speed here that mounts directly to the barrel and it actually detects the round as it travels over that blade. So on the other end of the spectrum here, we've got a lab radar. It runs on a slightly different technology, it uses a Doppler radar to detect the bullet path and the velocity. Uh, you can hook it up on the app here, it runs right through your iPhone or Android device, and it'll take all the data you have, save it on there, and you can use it for future reference. Kind of a neat piece of equipment. Getting those velocity numbers is essential when we start stretching things out because it'll give us an idea of what sort of holdovers we're gonna need. Another neat little tool that's almost essential these days is a Kestrel. Uh, it's a ballistic app on a little device and it allows you to read the weather. You can get wind readings here, measures uh, humidity, temperature, elevation, pretty much any of the conditions you find yourself in. With this Kestrel, as time goes by, if the temperature changes by 20, 30 degrees, your point of impact is gonna vary at range. This will calculate it for you. You just dial in the information, your bullet, your load, your velocity, and you can work off of that, and you just dial in what, whatever range you're shooting at. Say we have a, a thousand yards here, and that'll give me my elevation holdover at 8.8 .8 mils. So it works out great, and there's all sorts of tools out there that can help improve your game a little bit at those longer distances, but it all comes back to the fundamentals at the end.